Hi Pisces, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have Strength. So I feel like for a lot of you, this connection here, it does feel like this is a situation that it's like they're showing me many different branches almost on a tree. Um, and I heard something like sometimes it's easier to just leave. So maybe some of you, this is a situation that you felt like you had to really be strong with the wolf here coming up as well. Um, three of wands in reverse, five of cups in reverse at the bottom. So maybe you felt like when it comes to this connection, you may have had to, I'm hearing, purify your spirit. So I think that right now you're kind of in a process here of purifying your spirit, purifying your energy. And one of the reasons here, it's actually not really a reason specifically. It's coming up more as like, well, I guess the reason could be because you need this time to purify. You need this time to focus on you. Um, and I feel like I'm hearing Spirit say something about, again, this tree. It's like a plant, like a tree. And then there's these branches, obviously. And it's like the connection can kind of branch off or can stay grounded. So I think this is more so Spirit referencing that the overall energy of this connection is about you staying strong. I'm also hearing the word temptation. So you may feel tempted by this person or you may have felt that maybe in the past you were tempted by them. And so this is why they want to bring up that the overall kind of energy is that right now is a time for you to kind of almost walk on your own path too with the wolf. So if you walked away from this person, if you disconnected from them, um, or even if they disconnected from you, but I really feel like for you, the viewer, there's something about your energy that feels like you were the one who either did disconnect primarily, or you are just the one who is holding, uh, kind of like holding your energy together. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a temptation. It can be hard to be away maybe from this person for some of you. And possibly this person feels this way too. Um, because the major card coming up is strength. So it could even be two people both feel this way. I'm also hearing polar opposites. So for some, this could be that you feel for whoever this person is, maybe you are polar opposites from each other. And that's also a reason with the strength card is that you both have to kind of stay strong to um, not maybe like if you're not good for each other or not even that, uh, not even that. I mean, that could be since I said it, but I was going to say it's more so like... Um, you have to be both balanced, you know, to, to be able to come together. So there's something right now about you both maybe holding back, but I do think for the viewer, primarily, that's what's coming up here for you. So that's kind of the overall energy. We'll take a look at why specifically in a minute, but I want to get a few more. What is the overall energy? Spirit's saying that you can change the situation whenever you want, is what I'm hearing. Um, and I don't know why financial constraints is here. So for some of you, this could be a side note in reference to your finances as well. If you feel like you are not doing well financially or things are changing around you. Uh, but number 13 is the death card in tarot. And that's what Spirit said. You can change your situation whenever you want. I can also possibly see this being the person that you're thinking about and how they are having to make changes and they have to be the one to do it. They can make changes whenever they want, which is interesting with the Five of Cups and the Three of Wands because I feel this is referencing kind of a bit of a stuck energy. We have to be able to move beyond this Five of Cups energy, the sadness, this defeat, um, to expand, to grow with the Three of Wands. So someone here, which I feel is both of you, and Spirit did say you're purifying your spirit, um, is having to make changes accordingly right now. So if you feel stuck, even if it's not to do with finances, it'll depend. Maybe this is someone that you did have, you know, you were married to or something, but um, there's something sort of saying that you can make changes whenever you want. Again, all tied up. So it does feel like the overall energy of this connection feels a bit const constricted, I guess, or constrained. Um, declutter i'm hearing so yeah declutter it's like the overall energy is that there's a decluttering needed um
I'm also hearing for some of you, this could have been a connection that pointed out your flaws. So whether this is happening now or this has happened before, um, maybe it kind of in some way pointed out your flaws or it helped to illuminate the shadows within you that you needed to heal. And let's get one more. What is the overall energy of this connection that you're thinking about? Whoever you're thinking about. What is the overall energy of it, Spirit? Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, financial constraints. Interesting. So, yeah, there is something tied to finances for some of you. Um, and again, this could be speaking to this person as well. And why you're thinking about them may have something to do with how they feel about you, um, which we'll look at. But I do feel like with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's also referencing that you have the strength to make changes in your life to become and to be whoever you want to be. And... Yeah, so there it is again, three of wands in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse. So again, there's kind of this bit of a stuck energy, not being sure like uh, what changes need to be made in order for us to start to invest in something new. I'm hearing again fears and insecurities. So let's kind of break this down a little bit more and see who we're talking about here and who's who but if that kind of feels like it's tied to you or your person in some way then this could be for you but before we look at that i want to get one of these so the overall theme of this connection that you're thinking about why do you keep thinking about this person what is the overall energy of this connection We have karmic partner, okay? So it says, this person is a karmic partner. There's a very strong pull and intensity that draws you in. They are a catalyst for your spiritual growth. Be aware of the triggers and patterns coming up for you to clear. This is a stepping stool to prepare you for true authentic love. And that's kind of what I said here too. This person could definitely, um, for some of you watching this, you could be a star seed. I'm hearing specifically Pleiades, so that could resonate with somebody. And maybe this is also what you're meant to kind of become, because I said here, you're purifying your spirit. So I think that for you, the viewer, a lot of this has to do with this person possibly being a karmic partner, um, or someone that you have a lot of karma with as well. And at the bottom, we have influencing factors a physical imbalance in finances or career is affecting this relationship. This could be a work-life imbalance. This may pertain to your relationship being influenced or affected emotionally because of religious or spiritual factors. So that could be another thing here too. Um, yeah, like I said, they bring me back now <clears throat> to the reference of the branches and the tree things are very scattered okay so right now around this whole connection which i think some of it's picking up on this person too feels quite scattered it feels quite um like we have to again stay strong we have to stay balanced we have to stay grounded because i think that there's quite a bit of influencing factors around this which seem to be primarily financially financially related um, and I think that, like Spirit said, you can make changes whenever you want. Someone feels stuck, okay? Someone feels stuck. And I do think it could be kind of both of you, honestly, uh, in different ways. Maybe you feel stuck on them. Maybe they are stuck in something. It's like there's just a lot of stuck energy here. 
And with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel that this is where... You're supposed to move forward, not backwards, is what Spirit's saying. So let's actually, let's go into this a little bit more and see. So the reason, let's look at why you're thinking about them. So this is kind of a little bit of it, but that was more of like the overall energy. Now let's look at why are you still thinking about this person? Or why do you think about this person often? So Spirit, what is the reasoning behind why this person's on your mind a lot? Obviously, one reason could be because it's a karmic partner. And it says here, there's a very strong pull and intensity that draws you in. So like I said, too, there could be some temptation here. You could feel tempted in different ways by this person. So why is it that you keep thinking about them? What is the reason for it specifically, Spirit? One of the reasons is because there's a lot of confusion, specifically I'm seeing somebody actually undressing themselves, which I feel is a metaphor for taking off the clothes and kind of looking under the surface and being vulnerable or being bare. So I feel like there's some form of confusion and cloudiness around this connection. And that's one reason that you keep thinking about them is because things are confusing right now. You feel puzzled, you feel unclear. Um, and maybe it's almost like it has not stripped down to the core of what the actual real truth is with fantasy here. So it can be kind of a bit of like an unclear energy, maybe a bit of fantasy involved as well. Um, imagination. So why are you thinking about them? What is the reason for it? We have vows, commitment, promises, and fidelity. So I'm hearing a bunch. Wow, well, I'm hearing a bunch of different things, which I, I'm getting so many messages here. For some of you, I was getting this message here that someone, this is probably the person who you're thinking about, because obviously when we think about someone, it's likely that they think about us because it's you know, it's just how the energy is. Um, I was hearing something about nothing will measure up or nothing will compare. And I was seeing somebody being like almost in the ocean, being pulled back and forth with the moon here too. It's like this pulling here, the moon's pulling on the tides and I think that for some there's this energy of like maybe unfinished business and possibly someone feeling I don't really think this is you it could be you but I don't think this part is you I'm hearing that there's a key um, under see that's what I was saying with the vulnerable someone here is is really in their ego um, yes it could be you but I just feel like this person that you're connecting to is someone who maybe didn't really honor the connection with the spiritual connection here and they have to be able to unravel and unlock kind of their under the surface of their soul. And they could be for some of them either involved in something and they're telling themselves it doesn't measure up. Or maybe this is like this energy where it's almost like someone's chasing the commitment here. But it's, um, I'm feeling, feeling sorry for myself too. So someone's feeling sorry for themselves. So if I can kind of look at this this way, the reason that you think about them is partially because, again, you could have a very spiritual connection, maybe more karmic in nature. It doesn't have to be for all of you. It could be anything that you feel you resonate with. Um, just someone who you have a strong contract with, though, I do feel. But this person here and you both could be in a, in a state of pride and ego and... Um, Yeah, I'm just getting so many messages. For some of you, if you walked away from this person and maybe they did move on with the vows or you moved on, it's like there's still kind of an undertone of jealousy maybe or resentment um, that is keeping two people kind of tied together. What is the reason that you're thinking about this person here? 
Why are you thinking about this person? Yeah, because they just showed me building bricks, like bricks over bricks, like a wall. And here we do have avoiding, blocking, and then we have unconditional. So what I'm getting is that it's such a, it's almost like going down a rabbit hole to try to figure this out. And that's probably why you feel confused and probably why you think about them a lot is because it's almost like it's hard to grasp the meaning of it. Um, but I do think one reason is because it's almost like with the unconditional, there's maybe this pure unconditional energy between the two of you at a soul level but i feel like with the avoiding someone here has been building walls and bricks to block the other person out and i think that there's this feeling of like trying to catch this trying to get there um but i can also see this being with you too the strength card that we had and i mentioned something about your pure heart or your pure spirit um with this here uh, the the strength card i just feel like you are someone who You get it like I'm hearing, you get it, whatever that means for you, you get this process, you get this journey, you get love. It's like I just feel like there's a... So we'll see, why are you thinking about this person? Because something is coming in. Okay, I'm hearing it's gaining momentum, curiosity, connection, bonding, unraveling. But I really do feel for most of you, though, it feels like it's going to be an opportunity for you to start something different or start something new. Because it feels like the energy here of this connection and why you think about them is actually coming more from a place of you wanting to express unconditional love, wanting to be loved unconditionally, wanting to have that type of connection. And um, I will look at them, actually, and I will do an extended reading, too, and we'll take a look further at um, this connection specifically that this person is that you're thinking about uh, and get some charms and things, too, to kind of look deeper into it. But I do think that the main kind of thing I'm picking up on is that these walls were being built, you know, these these walls of confusion, these walls of pushing, pushing out, this person blocking you, this person, person pushing you away. And I just feel like with this cards we had earlier too, the all tied up and having to make changes. It feels like there's something kind of coming in to you or coming in towards you with this curiosity. And What is the reason that you think about this person? What is the reason that you keep thinking about this person? The magician in reverse. Because you haven't had your full potential, I'm hearing Spirit say, or you haven't reached your full potential. So, yeah, Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. I know it got a little dark in here. It was started to rain, so the it got kind of dark. But hopefully you can still see the cards. Three of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, it's because I feel you have not gotten to the full potential of what you're looking for so i know that's kind of like deep and going into different topics here but the main thing is that you are yearning to be into this unconditional love you want to be obviously in a state of being happy nine of cups it's like you're searching for this you've been seeking this you've been really wanting this and craving this because i feel like, like your soul is ready to experience this with the three of swords you've been blocked away somehow i don't know if they blocked you or you blocked them or you just feel shut out you feel in the cold 
obviously if you're thinking about them a lot you're probably not together and this confusion is coming from you feeling this way and so it's like the heartbreak of this whole situation has been stifling the growth of what could become so i think that um that's really the main reason that you're thinking about them i want to look at them though we'll, we'll look a little bit here and then we'll go more into the extended but because i think some of this could also be how they're feeling as well but i just think that um It's like I said something here too, something about, I forgot what I said, it was something about nothing measuring up. So it's like you're searching for that to measure up and possibly this person's searching for you as well um, because it feels like there's been this, again, kind of confusion. Something did not, was it, wasn't able to reach its full potential and that's frustrating. That feels like it's causing this frustration and, and and because of that, it causes you to keep thinking about them, keep thinking about this connection, because it's like you're still searching to grasp that, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. If you feel it, you would probably know what I mean. It's like you're kind of searching for it, you want to attain it, but it's like you feel like you can't get it. Um, so yes, you could feel like you can't get this person, and that's contributing to the frustration, but I think on a deeper level, you just want to be happy, and you just want to have this, you know... Um, let me get one more of these here, and then we'll look at this person a little bit. So why are you thinking about this person? What is the main reason that you're thinking about them? messages why are you thinking about this person so much True love. And again, I'm seeing a baby here. So someone could have a baby, but I feel this is more speaking to that baby unconditional energy. At the bottom, we have lust. So it's like lust versus true love. Um, Again, I'm hearing it all leads to this. It all comes down to this. It's like there's been this feeling of this energy having to build up and build up with the strength, having to be strong for a very long time or having to hold back for a very long time. And then eventually it's like there's going to have to be this understanding of why it all happened. And that's what I think is coming through with the Nine of Cups, which again, I do want to confirm a little bit, but it feels like this is... Let's look at them real quick. Let's look at them. I'm very curious to see. So the person that you are thinking about, let's just briefly look at them and I will get more in an extended reading. But let's see what we have here. So I'm curious to know, let's see, actually, let's use this deck again. Uh, this person that you are thinking about, are they thinking about you as well? Is this person thinking about you as well? And if so, what are their feelings? So Spirit, tune me into this person then that you are thinking about. Are they thinking about you as well? Are they thinking about you? We have solitary. So I was getting a picture of somebody uh, kind of on a cliff 
uh, I don't know if this person maybe hikes or something a lot. I was also saying fireflies too. So the meaning of fireflies could be important for somebody. But I do feel like also this person is someone who they're not like directly um, putting all their energy into thinking about you, but they are spending a lot of time alone. They're spending a lot of time reflecting right now and um, maybe getting back to almost like I was getting like a childhood energy. So maybe getting back to childhood energies or getting back to um, themselves. So... Is this person also thinking about you? Shattered, damaged, brokenhearted, and destroyed. Something definitely happened here. This person feels like they're damaged. They feel um, heartbroken. They feel like something... I'm hearing something. Is it too late? Too late to start. Too late. There's pride again. So that's... I feel like that was picking up on that person too. I'm frozen. Yeah, so I, I mean, I feel like this person here, they seem to be just really... I'm hearing just like like kind of going with the motions or kind of just being <clears throat> just just I don't know just frozen here. Um, is this person also thinking about you and what are they thinking? Okay, so this person, they're kind of in a place where they're wondering, I think you could mirror them a little bit. They're wondering like, what they're, okay, so they're kind of wondering <clears throat> why they, if they do think about you, I mean, I do think that at times they do think about you, but again, their energy is not so much like hyper-focused on it. It's not making a lot of movement at the moment, but I'm getting that this person wonders why do I think about this person occasionally or why it's like they're, they're confused as well but I think that they also question if they feel this way just like how am I going to explain this like why do they feel this way they're kind of wondering why they feel this way and they're questioning it so they wonder if it's just because they're lonely um, do I just think about this person occasionally because I'm just lonely um, do I just want a new experience the page of cups here or is it something deeper than that because I feel like this person's a little bit kind of feeling a bit low um, I don't know if maybe they hurt they broke up with you or something happened between you both or something else in their life but it feels like this person they're going through some changes that are very difficult for them right now I'm hearing it's like there's a very shattering kind of life altering maybe experience that they went through um, possibly could be with you especially if this was a recent ending or recent breakup but I just feel like they they're thinking back to good times okay I'm getting this person again something with the fireflies they're thinking back to good times they're thinking back to when things were simple so I think this person is kind of a simple person or they're trying to simplify things right now they're trying to just be in the moment so is this person thinking about you as well I don't know why I'm getting a staring contest. I don't know if that's somebody's like inside joke or that spirit's way of saying there's a staring contest between the two of you, two of wands, queen of wands reverse. Yeah, they don't, it's kind of like there's a bit of this ego again. I do feel like this person has quite a bit of ego. And it's like they're almost like if you picture somebody doing like a staring contest or kind of like a stalemate, like maybe nobody's doing anything. They're not making a move. You're not making a move. Um, I do feel like this person here, seven of wands reversed. Yeah, they feel kind of defensive at the moment so do they think about you I think it's more about 
catching up, I'm hearing, catching up to you, catching up to speed, Queen of Wands reversed. So in the back of their mind, they think about this. In the back of their mind, they do kind of secretly hope or wait for this or something here. They hope for it with the Queen of Wands. But they're kind of like in this very frozen energy where they're just going to stare. They're just going to kind of keep their distance. They're just going to be at this Two of Wands crossroads energy. They do wonder if they'll ever talk to you again or if, they're, if they will ever see you again, especially if you haven't talked in a while. Do they think about you as well? And if so, what do they think? Page of Cups. Yeah, so they also hope for something with you. They hope for um, a new beginning. But again, I don't know how serious that is. I think that it's you're kind of on different... I can see how you and this person are kind of on different wavelengths a little bit um, because of your energy versus theirs. Just means that you maybe are processing things differently. But yeah, Page of Cups and hoping. I think they do hope possibly for... for that... So I will look more in the extended, but I want to get just a few messages from them. And then we'll close it off with one card that you need to know about, you know, the purpose of all this then. So what is this person, just for confirmation for you, if you need this confirmation. So does this person also think about you? And if so, what are they thinking, Spirit, for this person? Do they also think about you? And if so, what are they thinking? Yeah, so they do need space, okay? So feeling trapped pushes me away. Please give me some space. So I, like I said, I think this person is really in a very solo, solitary, kind of frozen energy right now. Either they uh, were very hurt about the ending between you both, and they're kind of like not matching up to your level because of that or something else really hurt them recently something else happened and they just really need a lot of time alone to kind of um process understand where am i going next so they do have this in the back of their mind again that they hope okay they hope with the page of cups and the hoping here but it's like i think this person's approaching it in a very like whatever happens happens kind of way what is this person, are, are they thinking about you too? And if so, what are they thinking? We have fear. I want this so badly, but I'm afraid of getting hurt, so I self-sabotage. Yeah, I think that they're a little bit intimidated too by you, Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, and like we had seen before too with the Strength card and the Unconditional, that's kind of what I meant referring back to the previous spread. Like I think that this you are searching for that Unconditional energy and maybe on a soul level you both have that and they kind of um, want that too on a deeper level. But I think that the reason that you both ultimately think about each other is because of the beginning card the strength card you're both trying to you know find your light and to kind of resist temptation i think you're both very much feeling similar but you're in different ways okay at the bottom personal i'm moving through i'm sorry this is not about you i'm working through a personal issue so yeah they're kind of this person they're a bit closed off okay they're not super open it's just that they, they need to process a lot of pain right now and process process something so they feel like they want you to know from this reading that it's not about you it's not about you um okay 
So let's get one final card then. So what is the ultimate kind of outcome here then? What does the viewer need to know about just like the purpose moving forward or what, what's going to happen moving forward here? Again, I'm seeing a chess game. So it's like there's very much of a strategy here, not knowing, like both people not doing anything about it maybe. We have forgiveness. Your heart needs to be in a, the communication of forgiveness. Fully forgive yourself and others. Let go of self-blame and guilt. Forgiveness will allow you to move forward and to heal. It will create more space for love in your life. Yeah. At the bottom, we have trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. Listen to what your intuition is telling you about the situation or person. Your feelings are real. Tune into your inner guidance and follow it. You already know the answer. So whatever this is, it's like you already know the answer here. So you came to this reading, but you actually on a deeper level, you already know the answer. So think about what that answer is. Maybe something help to give you that answer in this reading but that's what i'm seeing here and it does seem like forgiveness like we had in the beginning unconditional love ace of pentacles moving into new territory will really help the situation because i was being shown the chess game so maybe it's kind of like i'm hearing it's not your battle to fight so Yeah, it's like the beginning we had the all tied up here too. It's not your battle to fight. So if anything, just know that it seems like your intuition already knows something. And this reading may have confirmed it for you. Um, but you also need to know that it's not your battle to fight. It's not your place to um, make those changes or to try to, to you know, to, to try to make those changes here for this person. It's like there's still kind of an all tied up energy. Um, and that's what I'm getting here, okay? So I will do an extended, and we will look a little bit more in case you're interested. Um, only if it felt like it resonated with you, or if it's your specific story, then we will look further into this person. We'll see kind of just a little bit more, and what, um, what else you need to understand about this moving forward. So thanks so much for tuning in, and have a great rest of the day, evening. Take care, and lots of love.